Hey gang, this week's tip of the week, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite baits on the market, the Mira Lure Miradine. You know, today, fishing with Ozzy, a lot of times I come down here to Captiva and fish with Ozzy, and we throw artificials. We throw Mira Lure Marshmallows or Little Johns or Mira Lure Miradines, uh, depending on the weather. Today, it would have been a little tough to do. We had really, really high winds, which had kicked a lot of grass up on the flat. So it's a little hard to throw artificials, hard to throw plugs, so we went with the live pilchards. But if you're having trouble finding live pilchards, the Mira Lure Miradine is a great bait because it looks just like a pilchard. I mean, that's the reason the great people at Mira Lure designed this bait. It comes in some great sizes. There's a Mira Lure Miradine, there's a Mira Lure Mini Dean, and there's a Mira Lure XL. There's also a Mira Lure Miradine heavy. The heavy one has the same sink rate as the 52M series. So if you're going to fish in some deep canals, things like that, the heavy is the way you want to go. If you're going to fish the flats, what you're always trying to do when you're using artificials is match the hatch. So if you're on a flat where there's a bunch of little bitty baits, obviously you're going to throw the Mira Lure Mini, the Mi Mini Dean. If you're on a flat that's holding regular size bait, the Mira Lure Miradine regular is the perfect size and if you're on a flat or you're fishing the beach maybe an area where you're going to have some bigger baits then the Miradine XL is the way to go. This is a fantastic bait especially for beginners. If you can't find some white bait as we call them some pilchards check out the Miralure Miradine from Miralure. You won't be disappointed it's a great great bait. Here we go. Oh! Had the schnookie. Oh. That was one thing nice about these potholes. Captain Mike with a gaff. You know, you can catch snook or trout, even sometimes redfish in every one of them. Yeah. You know, see, it's not just one fish. You can catch multiple fish. There's a lot of different fish. species. There's a lot of fish in this pothole right here. Almost tempted to chum, but. Now look at that guy. That guy want, to, a, want me to go put you on that boat? That guy's a gamer right there. That guy is. <laughs> That's 20 knot winds and a technical polling skiff. Wow. I noticed you nose hooked yours. I do. Is there a reason that you nose hook? Because I like to hook mine in the armpit. I'll tell you why I do that. I got mine hooked in the armpit right under the pec fin. Here's why I hook them in the nose. When you reel them in, pull them straight and it gives you another shot at hooking a fish. Okay. Listen, he's Ozzy Fisher. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh oh, fish on. We got a double, we got a double. Michael. A little just into that little. That's a good one. Color change just past the pothole there yeah. before the next pothole. Sure feels like a good one. Oh, look at that. Bull bay rod all bent over, dog. Dude, we you, your trout are really healthy, dude. That's a nice trout. That's a really nice trout, dude. Jeez. I mean, we'd be limited out. Yeah. We've been on the water for an hour. Nice trout. Really nice. Hey, that's good stuff, dog. Woo! Big trout. You gotta like it. Circle hook, simple game. 